Nice. You know, every 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 failure of any sort of NASA mission or any other you know major agencies big missions, um, typically generate some number of lessons learned, <laughs> and those things feed back into processes that are systems engineering processes, VNV processes, all these different things. Even um, the act of uh, trying to figure out what happened in some sort of mission failure has its processes associated with it as well. That's interesting. I didn't dig into that as much. So what are some of the processes you follow when you're trying to diagnose um, you know, a, a mission failure? Well, if it's sort of a post post mission type of thing where the mission is no longer existed because of that failure, <laughs> and you're effectively dealing with, um, think of for example the uh, uh, the National Transportation Safety Board, yep. right? If there's an aircraft uh, or an airliner has a crash of, a, of an airplane, um, this board uh, immediately becomes involved in that post uh, mortem, if you will, uh, analysis and assessment. Um, so the same sort of thing happens with um, with uh, space missions. You've got a board or more or, or multiple boards, if you will, <laughs> involved in uh, coming to the table and basically applying their processes, which are certainly different from, uh, you know, uh, board to board. Um, they all have uh, quite a number of people who are experts and have been around the block in these various areas or different types of mission uh, sets uh involved in these things and this is where interestingly enough you find a lot of the um the guru type engineers who for lack of a better description available to me in my mind at the moment think of like a bunch of macgyver types 